With another presumptive positive case of coronavirus found in Kent County, officials changing the way businesses will operate in the coming weeks as well. Our Aaron Parsegian joining us live tonight from outside the health department where those announcements were made this evening. And Aaron, some big changes coming our way. Yeah, Derek Janice, the Kent County Health Department holding that press conference here just a few hours ago. What we've learned since then, a Kent County man in his 20s has tested positive for coronavirus. What's interesting about his case, he has no known travel history. Also coming out of the meeting tonight, you alluded to it, is this emergency order. County issuing this, it will go into effect tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's similar to one issued in Oakland County and lowers the allowed occupancies for restaurants, bars, entertainment venues, and gyms by 50%. So a restaurant that can seat 100 people has to limit that to 50. At the press conference tonight, the department made it a point to stand alongside leaders of the local business community and law enforcement. They say they are all in together on this decision. They hope will help curb the spread of coronavirus here in the county. What's become very apparent is that the most effective way that this virus spreads is through close contact. It's through coughing and the inhalation of viral particles on those droplets of moisture. We need to do what we can to increase social distancing and to reduce the occurrence of that risk. I want to be very clear, we don't take these actions lightly. We're trying to, uh, to walk a fine line between uh, overreacting and underreacting and being very mindful of the science of how this spreads, how significant uh, this is, and we're doing the very best we can to protect our community while also doing what we can not to uh, shut down the means of our economy and society that are so important for a healthy, uh, a healthy community. Yeah, and this order lasts until 11.59 p.m. April 5th. It does not affect grocery stores, health care facilities, or food pantries. And Kent County Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young says they will be enforcing it with help from local businesses, also adding they are now ending all public visitations at the county jail. For now, live in Grand Rapids, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News. All right, Aaron, thank you.